They're just magical little creatures, aren't they? They take you away from any cares or worries that are going on in your life. Put a smile on your face. <laughs> My name is Anne Atkin and um, I sort of founded the Gnome Reserve back 35 years ago. The gnomes live in this beautiful beech wood with a stream running through, lovely. About 30 years ago I put this sign out by the front gate, a hundred gnomes live here and I thought that was wonderful. <laughs> and this woman came in and she said to me, you know, you've got at least double that number of them in the wood. <laughs> We're in the Guinness Book of Records and at the moment it's something like 2,000 but it is gnomes and pixies together which is a bit confusing in a way but I mean when you start counting out little pixies it doesn't take long to get up into the hundreds and of course if you take a day in the middle of August you could say there's many many more gnomes because everybody's got their hats on. <laughs> The very, very first year we didn't have hats and I reckoned at the end of the year these poor gnomes, they had all these big people standing up, much bigger than them, laughing and pointing at them. <laughs> and very embarrassing if you were a little gnome, very embarrassing. <laughs> so I thought, right, we'll turn everybody into a gnome when they come and optionally loan people gnome hats and we always have ever since. The gnomes don't mind how many people come because there are just more gnomes arriving. I'm a painter really and I did four years at Brighton Art School, three years at the Royal Academy up in London and after that I came across a painting problem which I wanted two elements in the paintings which didn't, I couldn't see how to fit them together really. Well, my husband does what you might call inner journeys with people. He took me on this little inner journey, and the first thing I found was a gnome. <laughs> Take this with a pinch of salt, if you like, but it, it seemed to solve the problem. After the gnome appeared to me, I went to a slightly different plane, I think, and I painted these six-foot size, completely abstract. They were hundreds and thousands of interlocking shapes, moving and swirling about and then because I was so grateful to this gnome, the gnome reserve got born. When people come here you see them walking up and they automatically smile. It's really lovely. I've got gnomes at home and people think I'm nuts and this is my idea of heaven. We've come every year for about eight years. I first Tracy was came up. here when I was about six weeks old. Yeah. We collect gnomes. I've got um, pink, purple, we've got blue green and I think mum once red. had a red one. The look on the gnomes faces and the, 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 their eyes and the costumes and just just being a gnome. You know it's just gnomes. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> you do hear about people who think that gnomes are a bit naff but my answer to that is fashions come and fashions go but gnomes go on forever. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.